In this video series, we're going to review a couple of common project valuation techniques that companies use to determine the viability of investment options, such as investing to develop a new product or putting money into building a new plant. And the reason this is good to know is you want to make decisions about deploying your capital, your cash, your effort, and the direction of the company into the places that will give you the most bang for the buck. So it's about trade-offs and making a decision about what specifically you're going to do. And as a manager and a leader at your company, you should understand a couple of the techniques that are used to make these trade-offs. And you need to be comfortable with the concepts because just like with financial statements, they're part of the language of business. And most companies have a capital committee that reviews investment proposals. So you should be familiar with some of the tools they use to analyze projects and then decide which ones they're actually going to fund. And the two techniques that we're going to look at specifically are break-even analysis and net present value. In these investment analyses, you're trying to figure out where best to spend your money. Should we develop a new product? Should we instead invest in some equipment upgrades to make our current products even better? Should we expand into a new international market? Things like that. And you can make those decisions on gut feel and experienced leaders do use their experience and judgment to make business decisions. But if you can back up those instincts with quantitative data, your decisions in all likelihood will be even better and you're gonna sleep better at night. And we're not saying to overanalyze or hesitate or just analyze and never make a decision, but to back up your gut feel with some of the quantitative data. And as I said, most companies use some kind of technique to inform their decision making and to guide the capital allocation decisions that the capital committee makes after they review all the competing requests for capital. So for you to even be in the running to get funding for whatever project you might be driving for, there's a very good chance you'd be asked to provide some quantitative data using a project valuation technique like we're going to talk about here before you can even get funding. A quick review of the two types of costs that we need to think about as we do our analyses. And these are variable and fixed costs. So variable costs vary as sales volume varies. For example, every car we make has inputs that go directly into that car, like sheet metal, an engine, a chassis, things like that. And the cost that we would put in, into our analysis for those types of things varies as our sales levels change. And if we make and sell one car, we have one car's worth of variable cost that's directly related to that car. Whereas if we make and sell 100 cars, we have 100 cars worth of variable cost directly related to that sales volume. And if we don't make and sell a car, we don't have an expense for that car. But some costs don't vary with sales volume, like a marketing campaign. It doesn't matter if you sell one car or 100 cars, you still have to spend that same amount of money on that marketing campaign. So that would be a fixed cost. And if it's related to this project, we need to include that into our calculations too. If we don't do that, we want to have a true sense of what the project actually costs in total. And if we look at the profit equation, which is just the income statement summarized at the highest level, you can see how these costs factor into the equation. Revenue is sales if that's all you're doing is, is selling things as opposed to making, say, investment income or other income that you would also include in revenue. And revenue is made up of price times the quantity that you sell. And expenses, as you can see in the formula, include the variable costs and the fixed costs that we just talked about. We're going to refer back to this equation as we go through our project valuation techniques, break-even analysis, net present value in the next set of videos. All right, thanks a lot.